Hello everybody, this is me RJ from Vader with your Invaders Hurricane Season Forecast for 2020, the Atlantic Hurricane Season 2020 Forecast, where we, with, with, where we get some predictions for the 2020 Atlantic Hurricane Season. Here's your Hurricane Forecast for the Atlantic, and this is the SST or Sea Surface Temperatures. So the Sea Surface Temperatures, um, Sea Surface Temperatures, I am predicting a above average sea surface temperatures along this line. And along this line, I am predicting a highly flavor favorable for above average sea surface temperatures. So that means we could see of uh, like higher like above average temperatures along and hurricanes forming along this area. We could see highly favorable sea surface temperatures and it could be very warm along this orange line which is this one right here in this red I'm drawing if you're in this area this is the above average we could see above average sea surface temperatures but if you're in this red which is I'm drawing right sorry which I'm drawing right here you could see near or slight above average sea surface temperatures so you could see these temperatures forming along like near or slightly along this area you could see near or slight above average temperatures along this red area this covers the above average but these are two different things but I'm expecting a lot of sea surface temperature activity in the above average area so the orange is the above average and right here you could see it and where we could see highly favorable for sea surface temperatures now let's move on to the uh, next, next next screenshot on the wind shear. So, what is wind shear? They can break up hurricanes. So wind shear, we have a lot of wind. They can break up like those. They can break up hurricanes, but there will. But it won't if there's not a lot of wind to break up. Then the wind shear is low. So, um, if you're in this orange right here, this is below average for this region. So that means there will be not a lot of wind to break up. So it'll be below average. So they can they can break up hurricanes, but they won't since there's not a lot of wind to break up. So development on so I would be talking about on development. So um, development will be be high in the um above average area. So we could see a lot of development, and we could see maybe a highly active hurricane season. So this forecast might change, this is my April forecast on the hurricane season, my first hurricane season forecast. If I want to update, I'll quickly update you on the hurricane season, but I will put this a below average for this region along the Africa, over the Africa coast, because since these hurricanes form out over the Africa coast, some of these hurricanes from, form out between these areas and move along the coast up there, so most of these hurricanes form may may be different regions so they always they form from the Africa uh, coast we could see and there all these current hurricanes come from Africa and they bring up come up here it's gonna be coming up there and maybe these hurricanes could be coming up there or possibly this could be coming up north or it could be heading south or somewhere between this area maybe you can see that area right here or it's gonna be coming south, maybe here, or maybe here, somewhere between there. But maybe where we, we might see where these hurricanes are coming below average for this region. So we're not gonna see a lot of wind shear. But maybe we could see wind shear around outside, but there is below average for this region. But I'll change this if if this forecast um if this forecast changes and if I don't agree anymore I'll change it so here is the development for the temperatures so will be for development for hurricanes but it depends on the sea surface temperatures and the temperatures in the ocean so um you know hurricanes get energy from the uh, sea surface temperatures so they need energy for te so the temperatures can help them with the energy so in this area it will be slightly above average. The so orange right here is slightly above average. Development there will be slightly above average. We might see some development in this orange area, which I 
which I drew, it's right here in this area. If in this region will be slightly above average hurricane for hurricanes to be developed in this orange region, which I drew right here, be slightly above average for that area. And then I lost so um slightly above average for that area and above average, above average and above average temperatures in this area. So we could see in this red area right here will be above average temperatures for that area. So my last section is for the overall the overall forecast for the hurricane season 2020. So this is the summary. So this area this red area right here is highly favorable for these um, for these temperatures. I'm very sorry about I I I I'm very sorry about that. I'm sure I made a mistake there. Uh, I made a mistake. So this area is highly favorable for these for the um temperatures. This is highly favorable for those um temperatures in this area. So the sea surface temperature is high. It's highly favorable for this area. And this area is gonna be warm, near warm above this in this region. So warm. It's, it's I call it so warm. So near warm gonna be warm above the temperatures in this area and there's gonna be possible landfall in this area so you see this says landfall this is possible landfall it could be in in the south maybe texas louisiana mississippi alabama georgia florida could see some landfall maybe um in this area it's a changer so maybe the hurricane could head north maybe this way instead of having instead of heading this way maybe instead of heading this way or making landfall there maybe it could be heading this way it might change its path to go that way instead of going this way or that way so that's a game changer into the temperatures so um thanks for watching that's it for all of the hurricane season forecast if there's any changes i should i should make let me Tell me in the comments or anything, or if I don't, if I disagree, some of the models that have changed, I'll quickly I'll update you in my next hurricane season forecast. This is my first hurricane season forecast from the Invader Weather Center. Have a good day and stay safe, Invader Nation. Stay safe. for watching Invaders Weather News on the hurricane season forecast 2020. Stay safe and stay safe and stay safe Invader Nation and Invader out.